to the show. It's time, let's go. Grab your friends and get ready. Here comes our friend Yeti. Let's open up our Bibles. Become true disciples. Y'all ready to grow? All right, let's go. Let's go. Hey, everyone. Welcome to the show. I'm Miss Haley Beth, and I'm here with my good buddy, Nettie. Oh, it's so good to see you. Nettie, I'm so excited for today. Um, is it because it's your uh, birthday? What? No. Okay, good. I thought I forgot. <laughs> Don't you know when my birthday is? Well, of course I, I know when your birthday is. When is it? Um, uh, it's obviously in a month that occurs during the regular calendar year. Okay, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, um, so uh, why are you so excited today? I'm excited because today we're talking about giving. Oh, nice, I love to give. Me too. Okay, Nettie, I have a pop quiz for you. You ready? Oh, yes, I love pop quizzes. It's like a surprise test. Right, okay, here's the question. Who was the very first giver? Okay, uh, let's see. Um, can you repeat the question? Sure. Who was the very first giver? Uh -huh, uh, okay, okay. Can you use that in a sentence? It's already in a sentence. Right, 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 right. Um, okay. I'm gonna say... Moses! Final answer! That is incorrect, but ah. it's okay. The very first giver was God. Ah! That's what I was originally gonna say. God has given us everything. Every day, God gives to us. What? How so? Well, the air we breathe, the sun that lights the day, the roof over our heads, the food that we eat, it all comes from God. Wow! God is like the ultimate giver! He really is. In fact, it says in John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, Jesus, so that whoever believes in him will have everlasting life. God gave his only son, Jesus, so that we could be free from our sin and be with him forever. Okay, that's amazing! That's why today's main point is, I give because God gave. Wow, that's awesome! When we follow God, we want to become more like Him every day. And when we see Him give every day so generously, it makes us want to do the same. Oh, for sure! So repeat it after me. I give. I give. Because God gave. Because God gave! Wow! Oh, I love that so much! You know, all this talking about giving reminds me of how much Ranger Ralph always talks about giving. Uh, I've got some questions, and I bet he knows the answers. I'm gonna go talk to him. Hey, when I get back, we can finish my Cheetos. <laughs> See you later, BRB. Okay, I'll just stay here and play Thumb Wars with myself. One, two, three, four, I declare Thumb War. <laughs> Oh man, Miss Haley Beth beat me again. <sighs> hey everybody, it's Mechanic Murray. It's time for Core Values. I'm gonna teach you how to fix a go-kart core value style. If you're ready, everybody say, let's go. All right, core value number one, love God. Just like this go-kart needs high performing gasoline right here in the engine. We also need the love of God in our hearts. So, on the count of three, when I pour this high quality gasoline into this engine, let's say, love God. Are you ready? One, two, three. Love God. All right, core value number two. Love people because God loves all people. In fact, we have to make room in our heart for the people that God calls us to love. Just like this go-kart has room enough for two. Keep in mind, don't be selfish. Make room in your heart for others. And so on the count of three, we're gonna give ourselves a great big hug and we're gonna love people. Are you ready? One, two, three, love people. All right, core value number three, do your best. Just like this amazing go-kart has a steering wheel to keep it on the road, because you know in life, just like in driving, it can be pretty scary out there. A lot of potholes, a lot of things to avoid, and you gotta make sure you're on the road the right way. And so, with Jesus, we can do our best if we let him help us steer our life in the right direction. So on the count of three, let's do our best. So grab that steering wheel and let's do our best. One, two, three, do your best. All right, core value number four, have fun. Because God wants us to have joy. 
And so after we've done everything, getting this car ready for race day, it's time to race and have some fun. Hopefully you win. And so on the count of three, at your best Mechanic Murray voice, I want you to say, have fun. You ready? One, two, three. Have fun. All right, that was Core Values Mechanic Murray style. Hope you had fun. Hey, I'll see you out there on the track. Actually, what I'm doing right now, giving my music. Ha! Oh, uh, that, that's that's great, but uh, you're not plugged into an amp. Ha! <laughs> that's what makes it amazing. And uh, what's an amp? Um, uh, never mind. So, so how do you know so much about giving? Ha! <laughs> well, my mom taught me that I give because God gave. Wow! Well, 
Well, that's amazing. That's our main point today. Ha <laughs> Awesome. I love main points because it's like, uh, it's like a point and it's like the main one. <laughs> right, 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 right. Ha <laughs> ha. My favorite song's about giving, but, uh, oh, I just, uh, I can't remember what it's called. Um, is it called Give? Ha <laughs> ha. That's the one. Nice. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. You want to check out the music video now? Um, sure, but I... I don't see a TV anywhere. Ha <laughs> ha! Play! What? And it's time for our memory verse. Remember, we do our memory verse so that you can keep it in your heart all the time. Our verse today is Luke 6.38. And it's a great verse that teaches us about how amazing it is to get. So when you're ready, say let's go. Let's go! Awesome. We're going to say the verse three times. First, I'll say it. Then I'm going to say it. And you're going to repeat after me. And then we'll say it all together. All right, let's go. Give, and it will be given to you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over into your hands. Luke 6, 38. Okay, now repeat after me. Give, and it will be given to you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over into your hands. Luke 6, 38. Awesome. Now let's all say it together. Give, and it will be given to you. A good measure, pressed down, Shaken together and running over into your hands. Luke 6 38. Great job, everyone. Now remember, keep saying it and keep it in your heart. And now it's time for the joke of the day. Yar, I'm Pirate Achoo, 
and I'd be here to bring ye the joke of the day! <laughs> Yar, listen up closely. What is a trampoline's favorite type of music? Hmm, good question. It's hip hop! <laughs> I don't get it. And that was the joke of the day. Huh. All right, Mr. Woodchuck, take it easy. Hey, let me know how much wood you can chuck. <laughs> hey, Ranger Ralph! Oh, Nettie! Oh, long time no see. <laughs> it's good to see ya! Well, what are you doing out here, Nettie? Well, you see, today we're talking about giving. And our main point is actually I give because God gave. And well, I just had so many questions about giving, and, and I know how much you love to give, so well, I thought I'd come out to the forest and ask you. Well, that's so amazing, Nettie. In fact, I love to give because God gave us everything, right? What? I mean, we got the beautiful trees he gave us, the sky, the sun, the water, <laughs> even all the little critters who walk around here. I love to give because God gave us so much. Wow, that, that's amazing. God's like, like the ultimate giver. That's right, he is. Oh, so cool. Yep, and one of the ways I like to give is by giving out free tours around here. I let kids with all their families come in and I, I show them around the forest, right? I take them on my favorite trails. I let them appreciate God's great nature. I introduce them to the squirrels, the woodchucks, and even my favorite bear friend, Brennan. Oh, wow, and you give your time just like that? Absolutely, because I love to give because God gave it us first. Wow, that's, that's amazing, but I mean, how did you know? How did you know how to be such a good giver? Well, Nettie, I wasn't always a giver. In fact, I used to be Ranger Ralph, the taker. <gasps> yeah, I would take and steal and found out when I did, I, I was alone. I wasn't filled with joy. But when I heard that God gave his only son, Jesus, well, <laughs> God gave Jesus so that we could be free from our sins and be with him forever. You see, a long time ago, we lived in perfect peace with God until something called sin, or the mistakes that we make every day, entered the picture. See, sin pulled us away from God and created a huge obstacle between us and Him. And for many, many, many years, Nettie, humans lived this way. But that's what Jesus came in. See, God sent His only Son, Jesus, on earth for us. While here on earth, Jesus was incredible, and I mean incredible. He performed amazing miracles like healing the sick, feeding the hungry, and even walking on water. <laughs> that sure would have made fishing easy. <laughs> and Jesus even taught everyone how to love God and love their neighbor. Jesus also came to earth to take the punishment for our sins. In the ultimate display of sacrifice, Jesus gave his life on the cross. When he did, the barrier between us and God was gone. From that day forward, God created a new way for anyone who calls upon Jesus to be free and live with him forever. God has shown us what it looks like to give in our lives because huh, he gave first. So I accepted the gift of Jesus that God gave and from that day forward, I wanted to be more like Jesus, more and more every day. So I studied his word, the Bible, and I learned how to be a giver just like him. Oh, wow, that truly is amazing. Ah, oh, thanks Ranger Ralph. Oh, I think I understand giving now. Oh, I give because God gave. Oh man, I love to give. Thanks, Ranger Ralph. No problem, Nettie. Have fun in the forest. All right, thanks. You too. Don't get lost now. <laughs> See you later. Oh, come here, you chipmunk.
John 3.16 For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son, Jesus, so that whoever believes in Him will have everlasting life. God gave His only Son, Jesus, so that we could be free from sin and live with Him forever. God is the ultimate giver, and He wants to be your best friend. If you haven't asked Jesus to be your best friend, now is the perfect time. All you have to do is pray and ask Jesus to be your best friend. Repeat after me. Dear Jesus, thank you for giving your life on the cross for me. Come into my life, forgive me of my mistakes, make me brand new, and be my very best friend. Lord, I love you, and I thank you. And it's in Jesus' name we pray, and all God's people said, Amen. Wow, if that was your very first time asking Jesus into your heart, then I want you to know that I am so proud of you. And I want you to tell someone in your life that you love and trust, because they're gonna be so proud of you too. Hey, Miss Hilly Beth, Miss Hilly Beth. <laughs> hey, Nettie. Oh, I had so much fun. I ran into Tate, and then I ran into to Ranger Ralph, and we talked about giving, and now I completely understand why I give because God gave. Oh, it's so amazing. And now we have time to finish our Cheetos. Wait, I forgot. We're supposed to be at Godfather's Pizza for a surprise birthday party in 10 minutes. Um, happy birthday? It's not mine. Oh yeah, 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 I knew that, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> we'll see you later. And always remember, I, I give because God gave. Bye! <laughs> Come on, let's go. Okay, are you sure it's not your birthday? Yes, I'm sure. Okay! <laughs>